بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد Privacy is power and what people don't know they can't ruin the fact that a person puts themselves to this risk and exposure they should only blame themselves privacy is like eating and breathing it is one of life's basic requirements so we are commanded on different levels on different fronts and levels to maintain secrecy for the preservation of our deen and our dunya and this is for our own protection Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights this quality in different aspects one of them is فَالصَّالِحَاتْ قَانِتَاتْ حَافِظَاتْ لِلْغَيْبِ مَا حَفِظَ اللَّهِ So the righteous women who are devoutly obedient and guard the husband's absence what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have wanted them to guard so with regards to صَالِحَاتْ these are the righteous women of the ummah قَانِتَاتْ obedient to their husbands according to the tafsir of Ibn Abbas and others as well and then the point we're trying to get hafidhat lil ghaib they guard in the husband's absence so Allah Masudi has explained she protects her honor and her husband's property when he's absent so her honor is everything to do with a female masturat mastur is something that is hidden in Arabic a, a, a satar is something which is concealed, so a, a, a simple thing like a, a non-Muslim female to a Muslim female. What's the satar of this Muslim female? So we know in front of other Muslim women it's from her navel to her knee, but in front of a non-Muslim woman it is the entire body except her face, her hands and her feet. So nowadays whether it is through social media where people, the, the masturat are exposing their pictures of themselves, their sitter, their body shape, etc. Whereas a kafir female cannot even look at any other body part. You cannot even go to a massage for waxing, for laser, because she cannot see those body parts. If it's a Muslim female, then everything besides the navel to the knee, it will be permissible to do that. But in between that, even a Muslim female will not be allowed to fulfill those procedures. So uh, likewise, the masla is what is not permissible to see, it will not be permissible to touch as well. So if a non-Muslim female, she cannot she is not allowed in any condition to touch those body parts. So that is the aura and that goes for men as well. So a male cannot go to another male even if he's Muslim and the massage goes over his knees. So these are all important aspects and, and this falls under the ambit of the Quranic ayah Bima Hafid Allah Allah has order them to guard what Allah has protected the husband. So whatever the wife needs to protect خَيْرٌ نِسَاءِ إِمْرَأَةٌ إِذَا نَظَرَتْ إِلَيْهَا سَرَّتْكَ The best of women are those who when you look, the husband looks at his wife, he is pleased at her. So this is an important requisite. This is Allah and His Rasul are classifying the best women of this Ummah. And when you give her an instruction, she complies, she obeys. And when the husband departs, when he's not at home, then she protects her honor and the husband's property. So even information about the husband's possessions etc. she cannot release that information. 
So when Allah speaks Ar-Rijal, Qawwamuna ala nisa men are protectors and maintainers of the women. Then the riwayat of Imam Ahmad, what a female will be told, Udukhuli al-Jannah min ayyil abuab shi'ti. Enter Jannah from any of the doors you wish. That a female who reads a five-time prayers fast, she protects her chastity. Wahafidhat farjaha. And obeys her husband. So protecting chastity, that protection has been breached nowadays and it has become quite um, uh, common. May Allah protect one and all. May Allah guide us all and uh, show us the, the route to his happiness. So when a person oppo exposes themselves, exposes their secrets, they, they are to blame. As a poet says beautifully, so when a person exposes their own secret and that comes back to them, then you are the fool. When you become cornered by exposing your secret, then you must remember that the fact that you could not keep your own secret secret, how will anybody else? So uh, this is an important aspect. In the Middle Islam was a Tzaba, he warned them and it was said, لَأَلَّا رَجُلًا يَقُولُ مَا يَفْعَلُ بِأَهْلِهِ يَبَزْنُ Well, say certain things which was private between him and his wife and vice versa. She may tell her friends, and uh, Nabi alayhi salam warned Sahaba, فَلَا تَفْعَلُوا Never ever do that. فَإِنَّمَا مَثَلُ ذَلِكَ مِثْلُ الشَّيْطَانِ لَقِيَ الشَّيْطَانَهُ It's like a shaitan, a devil, met another devil on the road and they were intimate. وَالنَّاسُ يَنْذُرُونَ And people are watching. So privacy in deen, in all aspects, is very important. And we shouldn't be selective when it suits us. Likewise, in our deen also, we should not be selective when it suits us. I mean, parda, but when I go on holiday, then there's no such a thing as parda. Why? Because nobody's watching. Fa'ain Allah, a man who's a pillar of the masjid, when he's on holiday, then even salat is gone. Even his sunnah libas is gone. So we shouldn't be selective on our deen. Udukhulu fi silmi kafa. So there was a woman who went with her husband for his routine medical checkup. So the doctor had to take the lady by the side. Just a point to remember if it's medical and it's shari'i justified then a female can go to a male doctor. So, so on, on, on conditions and in halat, in necessity, sh shariat has allowed it. We shouldn't abuse the allowance. Anyway, the husband uh, uh, has been checked up, the wife uh, taken one side, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. The doctor addresses the wife. But there is some hope. The good news is, if you have to stick, uh, stick to a stricter routine, and, and, and maintain it. So the wife looked worried and stressed. He said, yes, your husband will die. So she said, okay, what needs to be done? He said, firstly, every morning you must give him a good, healthy breakfast. You must cook for him uh, nutritional meals in the day, at night. And you shouldn't burden him with any household chores. And uh, for you, you to the fact that he's got this illness, you need to keep the house spotless and germ free. As well as financial difficulties, you shouldn't put any burdens on him, means uh, shop extra, buy things which are not needed. Whatever the income is, try to manage your husband's allowance. So the doctor trying to console her says, I know this place is a great deal of work on your shoulders, but uh, if you want to keep him alive, then this is what needs to be done. So on their way home, the husband asked the wife that what did the doctor tell you? He did all the tests, I'm, I'm, I'm in the dark. 
So uh, the wife replied, you know, I can't tell you, it's, it's quite sad. Um, you are going to die. You are going to die. So when it's selective and it suits us, then then then, then we choose Dean, we choose uh, secrecy, etc. So moving back to our point on, on, on technology and the smartphone, mobile phone. So these, these, these conglomerates, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Meta, they survive through you, through your data. You're just a, 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 a guinea pig in the big system, in, in, in the bigger world of their plotting and planning. So you should be very careful. We need to take precautions not to expose ourselves. The longer we are in these platforms, the more we become vulnerable. And there becomes a stage where a point of no return and uh, to undo the damage may, may be much more harder. So specific details are mentioned now currently, but not very detailed. Enough to help a person to, to be guided. Some may be um, technology jargon, but for those who, who really are seeking for options, we are providing the options. And uh, that is just to, to, to give some guidelines as well. So previously was discussed uh, the importance of, of, of uh, uh, really removing the software completely. So um, a, a, another Android custom operating system, which sends no data to Google. So Lineage OS is uh, a, a, a operating system, which you can use for your smartphone, your tablet, computers. And uh, it is open software, open source software. So um, that this, this will be your replacement. If you want, and uh, it's based on recommendation, Graphene OS, which uh, is also a, a security, a privacy focused mobile operating system and compatible with Android. So it's a nonprofit open source project. And here they focus more on, on privacy and on security, uh, improving the sandboxing, exploiting any mitigations and permissions which will create vulnerability. So previously it was called Copied OS. Now you can, you can find it, Graphene OS. And uh, the technology deployed here is, is to, to cover up the vulnerabilities so that uh, you, you are not exposed so uh, basically uh, fortifying all your boundaries. So if a person goes with us, then we'll have to do a full verified boot. Uh, and uh, it, it, this feature detects any modifications, any partitions, any, any reading which has changed, any corrupted data. Because if anybody wants to hack into you, then you need to know that these, these parameters have been breached. So any changes that are detected, any uh, malicious, attempt to compromise the device or uh, attempt to, 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 to secure your, your confidential information, this, this will uh, notify you as well. Then a device to get if you want to opt for a Google Pixel device, which will install the Graphene OS, uh, whether it's the Google 5, 6 Pro, whichever one, uh, the hardware capabilities will be enhanced and then it will make the, the, the system more operational so obviously our older model will have uh, less support over time as well so so uh, also keeping in mind that uh, the later the, the device the more uh, advanced hardware you will possess as well so that's on the the, the uh, Android front front as well so um, must remember that um, a un Google Android device can, can cannot compare to, to any other devices that are out there. Some people like the iOS and they want to stick to that. So uh, obviously we, we went through the options of, of iOS and what you need to do and uh, how to log in and to make sure that uh, all the precautions are taken so not buying online, go buying in cash, make sure there's no track, no trace, creating an anonymous Apple ID and um, uh, in the registration process, any information that you provide shouldn't be linked to you completely.
and uh, even if you want to create a Apple ID, you could you could even not use it from the Apple device, but use another browser, a complete new clean laptop, uh, where you will go to appleid.apple.com/account and you'll create an account. Um, so that's uh, with regards to, to to Apple as well. Likewise, your your landline number, the verification will get into that as well. If a person goes to an Apple store, uh, he gets somebody to go as well, and, and, and you know, you've noticed where the cameras are uh, filming, in. then uh, you could even ask them to, 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 to use the Wi-Fi there in the Apple store, which bypasses many restrictions when, when you're creating the, the Apple ID process. So that's quite helpful. Likewise, each store has a a unique number associated with the store for a registration process. If you can manage to, to get that information out and use that, then uh, it'll bypass a lot of systems. Now, just, just to see how much compromise there is, uh, a security researcher from the School of Computer Science and Statistics uh, compiled data with regards to Apple and Google devices, and he found that Google collects more data than Apple. So that's one aspect. Then how are these devices collecting information? So even if it's idle, your phone is idle, you're not doing anything, Apple identifies and sends the telephone number assigned to the device. So any uh, Apple server located, uh, that, that information is associated with your telephone number and every device has a UDID, it has an IMEI, the SIM has a serial number, Apple has an advertising ID, the Apple security token. Uh, so these are all uh, information that are information that is populated. So your your unique hardware identifiers, your 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 cell phone number, your SIM number, your telephone number. If they connect all of this, then you are compromised. So from the SIM card, which is not linked to you to the phone, that's not linked to you to the registration process, that's not linked to you as well. So. You've got your phone completely uh, ghost, then Graphene OS root, which makes you a ghost, your SIM card a ghost, then you could use an application called Lin Phone. That's for VoIP telephone services, voice on internet protocol. So Lin Phone is a, a voice over IP uh, service, and uh, you can ha have it for audio, for video calls, it can also uh, pay up with different applications as well. So this was initially developed for the Linux uh, system, but uh, the pl platforms that have been added on now includes, it works with uh, Microsoft Windows, iOS, Android, and uh, it is, uh, so end-to-end -end encrypted voice and video communication systems. So, when you put the LIN phone uh, and you run it, even your 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 net network address translator, which is compatible with ITSP, which is Internet Telephony Service Provider, you could you could even use it for that. So we discussing now VoIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, and that's where your device now you want to get it onto VoIP. So you've got the Graphene OS with the LIN phone. And uh, the advantage now is that if you add a normal SIM card, then the cellular networks keep data of everything, every text, every message, every call. Then if you add grabber technology, we're not even talking about the hackers, but a grabber technology where you just put the person's number in and automatically it'll record every call, it'll intercept every message. So that person is breached and compromised through the cellular in the network. So the, the grabber has, has found a way to bypass the cellular networks, safety and security systems. And then you are completely breached. They can even identify your location as well, triangulation. So uh, this permanent activity log is, is, is uh, a risky. And from all aspects, you can be com compromised. Likewise, the cell number is uh, linked to you. So if you know the number, you can go into other details and breach the person as well. And then the compromise and risk of some swapping as well. 
So, uh, and that's compromise of your banking, etc. Then the aspect of somebody might say that now, okay, I need my uh, contact uh, a certain number, etc. So you must remember that when you have a sum number, your number is available to your family, to your friends, to be in their contacts, and that will associate you with a number. So there's different apps out there and different ways you can trade, but it's just a normal everyday ID uh, service apps like Truecaller or Mr. Number, where your private details are no more private. Likewise, Twitter and LinkedIn also connect you when you agree to share their contacts with its email address, telephone numbers with the service as well. Twitter does it as well. So when you, when you go on to VoIP, and that's why we emphasize in uh, VoIP numbers, which eliminates this threat as well. So uh, um, VoIP numbers can be used and, and you can conf configure it. Then uh, if you want to configure this, then you could use Twilio or Telnix. So uh, each one has its advantages and disadvantages, but uh, a person could could study them and then decide what uh, what what they want to use. So Twilio will provide you with uh, a program communication where you can make and receive calls and then receive texts and uh, use web services. So uh, this, this, this is important where you have control over your numbers and you're not at the mercy of Google and their data collection and uh, they can, they can uh, take advantage of your information. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a uh, tofik to, 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 to understand the, the, the risks and, and, and the potentials which uh, a linger out nowadays in the 21st century. Uh, the amal for today is was the amal of utilizing the miswak. So we find that Nabi Ali Salatu Wasalam used the miswak on different occasions. Kana idha qama min al layli yashu shufahu bisiwak. Even when he used to get up at night for tahajjud, he should utilize the miswak. So in our every important uh, ibadat, amal also, we need to use the miswak. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to become making amal wa khid da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.